Hey everybody, this is Terry Watson, and today I'm going to show you how to do a um, an action sequence using layer masks. And um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on layer masks because I believe Chris has probably talked about them several times in the um, in the Photoshop workshops that he does before the meetings and also in his tutorials. But I will show you how to use it to um, to get this effect. Now, what I've done is I've taken four images of my son Jeremy in various um, I don't know what you would say in various phases of running and jumping into the pool. Now I did this on a tripod because what I want to do is I want to make sure that the background is perfectly aligned so I don't have to do too much work later. So this is the first image where he's getting ready to take off and let me run down and grab the next image. Okay and then what I'll do is I'm going to take the first image and I'm just going to click on it and drag it over the second image and then as you can see here, it's just, it basically it's another layer. You can see it added here as a layer. I'll drag it up and it'll, it should snap right in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into, um, into a layer mask by clicking on this button right here. And you can see it added the layer mask. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to paint through this top image to show the Jeremy in the second image. And what I'll do is I'll do that by painting with black and I'll just start painting right where I have a pretty good idea where he was so I'll just start painting right there and the cool thing is as you can see is that it's very simple to do like if I paint up here you see nothing you see nothing at all even though I'm actually showing the bottom layer because the I used the tripod and these images are aligned perfect so what that does is just paint through here and that will bring the bottom layer through to the top now if you accidentally paint over something you want to keep it's just as simple as going back and painting back over it with the white and it will bring it back and that's kind of the benefit of doing it this way versus just using the eraser tool so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I'll flatten this image and I'll go down and open our third image and again we'll do the same thing I'll drag this image right down on top of that one on top of the third and as you see there he is in midair and again this should snap right into place and same thing, I'll turn this into a layer mask. And I will take the paint tool again with the black. And I'll paint right here where he is in midair. And there you go. So you can see what's happening here. We're just down basically just an action sequence in one frame. Basically, it looks like you're using multiple exposures. And I will go ahead and flatten this layer or this image. And then I'll finally go down and grab the last image that we want to use. And I will click and drag it over. And again, it should snap right in to line up. And I'll create a layer mask again. And I'll go over here to the paintbrush using the black. And I'll paint back in uh, Jeremy, the other, the other Jeremy's if you will. And again, because we took the we took the um, time and the effort up front to um, to line everything up and use a tripod, we really don't have. We can just um, you know we can be kind of sloppy here and paint, and you're not going to notice anything at all. And there you go. How easy is that, right? And this this area in here looks like it's kind of it's almost blown. So I would probably um, crop this a little more. And. And there you go. That's the finished piece. And you see it's really simple. It's just a matter of using the layer mask. Um, we would want to flatten this here at the end. But it's just a matter of using layer mask and painting in or painting out the parts you don't want. Again, the key is to use a tripod when you set this shot up. Make sure everything's stable. And use the, the, um, the continuous shooting mode of your camera. You can do you know whatever your camera will do. You, know, you can do this with 10 different images if you want to take the time. But this was just something quick to show you how, how to do it. Like I said, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, just learning the technique. So that's it. Hopefully um, this was helpful and um, talk to you soon.